Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I got a quick video on a desktop client that I found that will take your ham, ham alert triggers and send them to your desktop, desktop. So if you're sitting there working the radio at home and you don't have the cluster pulled up, you can have this running in the background and you'll get a notification when one of your triggers goes off. Now the key to having this and, the, and to make the way this works is once you have all of your, your, your triggers set up that you would normally use, you need to go in there and edit them and make sure that Telnet is selected. That's going to be, that's what's going to send it over to the, to this client. So make sure you have your trigger set up, have Telnet selected, and then you're going to head over to this website right here. It's oe3ide.com. Click on the software tab and he has built this Hamalert cluster client. Now he has a full video description if you'd like to jump over there and watch that. I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of how to install it and what it looks like once you've got it installed. So you wanna scroll down to the bottom of the page and by, this is completely 100% free, but uh, I, I sent him a few bucks uh, in order to, to I mean, it's, it's that's the value that it gave to me was that, uh, uh, I like work hunting POTA stations and I'm trying to work on my worked all states right now for parks on the air. And this came in very handy. So I threw the guy a few bucks just for, for, for putting this out there for us, but you want to go, um, he'll, uh, if the page doesn't refresh or if it, if you don't see a, a current version down here at the bottom, you can hit control F five and refresh the page. And then it will, uh, it, it'll show you the current version as of uh, January, 2024, the current version is 2.0.11. So you'll click on the download uh, button down here at the bottom and download that to wherever you save your files. And it's literally uh, two files. There's an application and then there's a DLL file. Once you uh, do the settings and you log in and stuff like that, there'll be a third file created, but it's, it's a really tiny program. Okay, when you first open this, you're not gonna see any of this stuff up here. This is uh, the after I've already logged in and and uh, you can see I've already got it set up to uh, to trigger off a of POTA and all of my POTA stuff is, is coming over to the to my desktop screen. So when you first open the uh, the client, you wanna go over to settings and you're just gonna log in with your Hamalert uh, information. Had just same way you would log in um, to their website. You'll use this information and log in. There are a few uh, configuration items that if you, you would like to, to tweak if you want, uh, you can change the colors, you can have it auto start. Um, there's all kinds of different things that you can have uh, ready to go for you when this fires up. Once you get your information saved in, you hit connect and that's it. This will start running in the background and as soon as you get uh, one of your triggers goes off, instead of it having to go to your phone, you can't see my phone because I have a green screen, <laughs> but instead of having to keep your phone handy to see those triggers pop in, they're gonna pop up on your desktop. And you can also minimize this and you'll get a, a desktop notification that says, hey, that there's a new spot added to the Telnet. So I thought this might help. I was looking for uh, a way to get my ham alert onto my desktop and I found it. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Hope this helped you out. We'll see you next time on this side of the radio. Take care.